Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the 2015 6th Annual International Trailblazers Award with the lovely, the beautiful, inspirational Miss Monica Pearson. Of course, everyone knows who Miss Monica Pearson is. She's been very influential in the community since a very, very long time. Once before again, you were I, born. Before, um, <laughs> But you still look good. Thanks. You still look good, of course. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Shalon Nakia, your chief editor of Reveal Magazine US. So you are here today to receive, she's an honoree, ladies and gentlemen, for the Chairman's Award at the International Trailblazers Award today. How does that make you feel, Ms. Pearson? Um, and the, as soon as I heard about it, I was in shock because it's like, why should I be getting an award? That's, no, I'm retired. It's been three years, actually, since I've been on the air. So to have someone call and say, I would like to give you an award for something you've done, it's kind of overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It humbles you, right. but at the same time, you're so excited about it. It's like I had to call my 92-year-old mom and tell her. I mean, this is a big deal, yeah, and it's nice to be remembered because people don't have to be nice. Absolutely. Well, at, once again, you're definitely an inspiration to myself as well. So of course, we will remember you. But outside of that, how are you still using your influence to pretty much be an influence in the community as well? Well, I'll be teaching this semester at Atlanta Metropolitan State College. Okay. I went back to school. Mm -hmm. um, believe it or not, at the age of 65 in order to get okay. my master's that degree is. so that I could teach. Mm -hmm. So I'll be teaching this semester coming up in Atlanta Hear that, guys. Collins, State Hear that. College. And I'll be teaching Introduction to Communication. Okay. So that's one way of getting back because I don't want to take everything that I did in television right. into the grave with me. I right. want to share it with others. Right. And then I'm very involved with the American Heart Association uh, and their Go Red campaign for women mm -hmm. because more women die of heart disease than men now. Wow. One out of three women will die heart disease mm -hmm. and as a two-time cancer survivor mm -hmm. what really got me involved was when I learned that more women die of heart disease than all the cancers combined mm -hmm. so I was chairman of the event last year mm -hmm. in 2015 and in 2016 I'm serving on the committee and then I have the joy of writing for a magazine mm -hmm. Southern Seasons oh, wow. and I do radio on Sundays from 2 to 5 for KISS 104.1 it's conversation and music so I'm retired Tired, but I'm doing the things I want to do mm -hmm. versus the things that I have to do. So that's my way of giving back. Okay, and we, of course, you guys didn't know that I had no clue. So, of course, we're always revealing things to you guys. We definitely want to stay tuned. So the last thing we want to know, of course, is Spears. And once again, I'm just elated to be standing in front You're of you. You're adorable. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. Stop it. But the last thing, um, Reveal will definitely about empowering, inspiring, encouraging young entrepreneurs, as well as being able to take something from seasoned entrepreneurs and women like yourself as well, so that we can take that inspiration and go out into the world, into the universe, and do what we need to do. So, what's something inspirational that you'd like to leave our viewers as well? When I think of entrepreneurship, it was my daughter at 35 is an entrepreneur. And when she came to me and said, this is what I want to do, I think in some families the reaction is, nobody else has done that in our family, why are you trying it? Where my reaction was, go for it. You're unmarried, you don't have kids, you know, you don't have a mortgage, go for it. And I think we need to encourage our young people to try. If you fail, then that means the next time you begin again more intelligently. So to me, if you really want to be in the business world, you're going to have some ups and downs and lots of downs, but don't give up. Because if you have that idea, that seminal idea that no one's thought about, and you have the energy to sell it, look where you could be. I just look at it this way. Barack Obama had said, ah, I'll never be president. He wouldn't have been. Nothing beats, you know, what can I say? You gotta work at it. And you can't let defeatism stop you from doing something that you really want to do. And that's oftentimes what happens. Your mama says, oh, it's gonna cost too much, too much money. Your daddy said, nobody's ever done this in our yes, family. An uncle says, I can't be bought. I can't see you doing that. Get a job. Mm -hmm. When you create a business, yes, you're creating jobs for people in the community. Right. And that is the most important thing. Absolutely, absolutely. So you heard it here <laughs> first, you guys. All you need is the energy. Once again, I'm Shalon Nakia with Reveal Magazine. Yes, we are here with the lovely Miss Monica Pearson. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shalon. I appreciate oh, it. I love your name. <laughs>
so we are back with Miss Alicia Michael. She is the recipient of the Leadership for the Lasers Award. So congratulations again. Thank you. So how does that make you feel being that this is the sixth annual award show? There are many before you as well. So obviously someone thought that you were the best fit for this award today. So how do you feel about that? It's amazing. What an honor to be here. I mean, we have some really just tremendous leaders in our community that are being recognized tonight. Just the ones sitting here in the crowd that bought a ticket and thought enough of this program to come tonight and spend their resources, spend their time being here. It's, it's just an honor. Absolutely. So tell us, for those who do not know Miss Alicia Michael, just tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, I am the immediate past district governor for Rotary International, this district. Uh, we are District 6900, and we have 69 Rotary Clubs in our district, including all of Metro Atlanta, so uh, about 4,400 Rotarians. So I just finished uh, serving that district and providing service in that organization. Absolutely. That's amazing. So want to let everyone know that you are an inspiration to everyone. It doesn't matter if you're young or if you're old. So what's something that you'd like to leave our viewers as well? Those who's just looking to follow their dreams or even get where you are today. Oh my goodness. Stay inspired. And and don't forget that, that being inspired isn't just about what you like to do in the community or like to do internationally, but you never know the next person that you're going to you're gonna touch and what they're going to go on to do later on in life. So, just stay inspired. Love it. Thank you. Thank so, you. thank you, Ms. Michael, once again. Congratulations. Thank you and so we much. really, really appreciate it. All right, guys, we'll be back with more interviews. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so you are in for a treat. Once again, we're at the 6th Annual International Trailblazers Awards. We are standing here with Mrs. and Mr. Gator. They are the founders of this excellent event of Dubai and also for the International Trailblazers Award. So we want to know, Mr. Gators and Mrs. Gators, what inspired this inspirational award? Well, we wanted to reach back to the community and reach out and touch people who are doing outstanding things in the community that get little recognition. For an example, we have a young lady by the name of Darlene Lewis that's from Arkansas that's helping felons when they get out of prison establish themselves back into the community. But it's not very well known throughout the country. We have Mr. Roe Brooks who's from Baltimore but lived in Atlanta for 15 years and then he also reached back into the community and helped young men in Atlanta with acting careers. Okay, we have Judge Tangela Barrett, who also is a community actress. Now, of course, we have Monica Pearson, a legend in Japan. Yes, yes, yes. So tell us a little bit about Jabai. Jabai, it's just about blessing you. I started it. I didn't like the work young today. He first came to me and I told him I want to do it. He's like, what you going to do? I said, I want to do everything. He's like, no, you can't do everything. I said, yes, I can. I can do everything. So my goal was just to help mental teenage girls. Um, we go feed the homeless maybe once, every once a month. We just do all this research. Okay, so we wanted to find out about the organization or if someone wanted to come and help. Where would we go to? Is there a website or? You can go to jabai.com. Jabai.com. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege and an honor for Reveal to have been here at the 6th Annual International Trailblazers Awards. We will be back next year. Make sure you watch the video. Visit RevealMagUS.com. Tweet us, like us on Facebook, Instagram, all of that. And we will see you guys next year. Hi, I'm Monica Kaufman Pearson, and I'm now hosting a radio program on KISS 104.1. But you may remember that I used to be the anchor for WSB TV Channel 2 Action News for 37 years. And today, I've been revealed. It's your boy Ro Brooks from the Has and Have Not. So guess what, y'all? I've been revealed. Invigorating. Empowering. Unique. It's not just a magazine. It's a movement. Reveal Magazine US is an online publication that features young, professional, and minority entrepreneurs. Are you an entrepreneur on the rise? Should we reveal you next? If so, send us your information at info at revealmagus.com. Here's your opportunity to be revealed.